Okay, first target guys. They always blow your eardrums out. It's the uh, the dreaded zipper pull. Anyway, um, got a bit more to go, so we've only just started. But first, good target. It's a good sign that people come down here anyway, and uh, they do. So we'll keep going. Okay, see you at the next target. Okay, guys. Well, first uh, promising sign of the day. Not much, I know. Five cent coin out of that hole right there. So um, I'm guessing a few people come through here. A lot of footprints, a lot of people swim here at this section of the river. A few people lay here on the sand. So I'm gonna go check the banks and um, see what else we can find. All right, we'll keep going. See you on the next one. Okay guys, uh, forgot to mention I'm running the six inch coil today. So um, I just found a set of keys. Been there a while by the looks of it. Looks like a maybe a door key and a letterbox key maybe. Okay, we'll keep going. That was right under this tree here. So someone's put this stuff there and lost it. So we'll make sure we check under all the trees and and all those areas. Usually when you go along riverbanks, that's what you do. You check all these sandy areas where people jump in and. Um, the water's too deep for me to go in, otherwise, and it's bloody, it's the middle of winter here, so otherwise I'd be going into the water and checking that too. But I'm checking the edges of the water where I can, so. All right, we'll keep going. Okay, guys, just in this hole here, right, pretty much in front of the rope swing. I don't know if you can see the rope swing goes up there. Um, six inch coil. Just found a brown bugger. Actually come up pretty good signal. I was actually thought it was a can, but I realized there's only a small target. Um, been there for a while, but looks of it. It's got a nice green patina on it for a two cent coin, 19... a 1966. So it's an original. It's definitely been down there a while. Whether it's been down there since 1966 when they first issued these coins, I don't know, but that's a good find and a good, good sign that no one's detected around here that we might get something good. Okay, uh, let's keep hunting. Okay guys. Just at another part of the river here where people swim. A bit of a campfire back there, but I just found uh, a 2006 50 cent coin. So there's not much down here, but there are coins. Well, a bit of rubbish, a few uh, ring pulls and the usual bottle caps and all that stuff. It wasn't that deep either, so I'm going to keep looking around these river banks and never know, we should turn up something even better sooner or later. All right, let's keep hunting. Guys, it's still slow going, but... Uh... Just found this 10 cent coin. It's been down there a while as well. Um, you can't get a year on it. 2000. Probably been down there that long. Looks like it's been down there a while. I'm still going along the riverbank here. Finding more spots where people go. Um, you can see where I dug a hole down there but found nothing. Now anyway, I'm going to keep going. Guys, that's where I just found the 10. And over here in this hole, another 50 cent coin. All right, finally getting some coins in this little area here, so I'm going to hunt this area a bit more carefully and see what we get. All right, let's keep going. Hey guys, I hope you can hear me. Just checking around this waterfall here, and uh, yeah, I just found a mobile phone. It's an old one, and it looks like it's been in there a while, but first one of these I've found in a while. All right, we might have a bit of more of a hunt around here, see what we can find. Okay, let's keep cracking. I'm going to call that a wrap for this spot. Didn't really get a lot, not as much as I hoped. But um, a few people started to turn up, cars down there. So um, we'll put our gear away, maybe swap back to the 11 inch coil and we'll go to another spot. All right, see you at the next location. Okay guys, I'm at another uh, another park. I'm not going to say where this one is, but um, we'll have a hunt around here and um, see what we can get. Okay guys, uh, first target. At this park, 10 cent coin. Um, it was pretty deep down actually. It was in the plug there, but it had to destroy the plug to get it. Probably about three, four inches down. So, uh, but it looks like I've got original soil in this this park, so we'll try around here anyway. All right, um, six inch coil again. As I've mentioned many times before, um, really loving the six inch coil. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's keep hunting. Okay guys, just out of the ground here, very shallow. Just pop 20 cents out. 
So uh, not getting any goldies yet, but getting a few of the silver, yeah, modern silvers today. Bit disappointing, but keep going. We'll see what we can get. Okay, guys, look at this. Another surface find. Two bucks on the surface. All right, love it. Love it when we find money lying around. Okay, let's keep hunting. All right, guys. Uh, I just found this pendant. I'm guessing it's just junk, but uh, I don't know if it's a pendant or what it is. But um, yeah, very cool. Cool find. And I've got another target right next to it I'm about to dig up, so we'll see what this one is. That's where that pendant was, and in this hole next to it, a very, very corroded 50 cent piece. All right, let's keep going. There's a bit of a dip here, and I'm getting a few signals in the dip, so I'm just going to keep trying this dip and see what we get. All right, let's carry on. All right, guys, I did, uh, lucky you check the plug. You always check the plug twice because in the same plug, one dollar. One dollar, so a dollar fifty in the hole, and I'm going to check because I'm getting a few more signals around it. So it might be a bit of a coin spill here. I say someone sat here and and lost a bunch of stuff. It's Australian one dollar coin. All right, let's keep going. Okay, guys, um, just near a creek here. Um, Commonwealth half penny, lovely. First pre decimal for the day. Um, I thought I'd be getting more, but this one uh, rang up. I thought it was actually a two dollar coin. Rang up like a 21 on the Equinox, and um, yeah, instead we got a, I think it's a 19, 1916 maybe, 1916 Commonwealth half penny. yep, awesome, alright, finally got a pre-decimal. All right, we'll keep hunting. We're headed back to the car actually because it looks like we've got rain coming. So um, I'll keep hunting. Let's go. Guys, uh, our luck ran out with the weather. It's actually raining, so it's time to pack up and head home, I think. And um, uh, I'll have to come back here for sure. There's quite a few targets in this area, but um, yeah, the weather's driven us away. Anyway, I'll see you at the wrap-up. G'day, guys. Welcome to the wrap-up. Um, not a great weekend this weekend. Didn't really do much hunting to tell you the truth. Weather hasn't wasn't the best, and uh, we're just in the middle of winter here, so it's not really good hunting weather. But anyway, I'll do a quick wrap up. Um, only one pre decimal this time, which is a, a 1919 Commonwealth penny. I don't even get that. Lighting in this room is terrible. I'm trying to fix it. So I apologize. Um, three bucks, four bucks, fifty, seventy, eighty, ninety, five bucks, five, ten, fifteen, five dollars twenty-five in spendables. Not real good. Um, most interesting find. This old Samsung phone, which is still full of water. It's never gonna work again, but yeah, I've never seen a Samsung phone that small. Well, the buttons still work, so interesting little phone. Um, I'm going to take the back off it and see if it's got a SIM card in it anyway. All good. Um, set of keys. Ton of rubbish. I don't show the rubbish. This is interesting rubbish. Um, this thing, which I don't know what it is. I'm guessing it's some sort of... I think it might have been... Oh, there you go. It might have... It might have went on to something. Might have been part of something, I don't know. I don't think it's gold or anything. It's no good. Anyway, just a quick hunt today. Because I said nothing really great today. So that's all we've got for you, I'm afraid. Uh, until next time, uh, like, share and subscribe. And um, I'll see you swingers on the next hunt. Cheers.